First time back in the thrift store since lockdown and I scored thrift with me. Here we go. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, we are going to do some thrifting. Super excited. It's my first time back in the thrift stores since lockdown. I'm wearing my mask. I have on my glove with one hand, and I'm basically thrifting with one hand and holding my phone with the other. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe now I should have picked up these buttons. Everything was 50% off, and that was a super cool surprise. It was like a Memorial Day sale. So, um, yeah, 50% off of everything. So when you, and there was some bread. <laughs> so when you see the prices on items, it was half off of that. And I found some goodies. Um, as I'm going through here, you guys let me know if you see anything that I quite possibly missed. Um, I'm still learning. And if you guys know about a bolo that maybe I don't know about it, Please feel free to, um, maybe I should have got that, time stamp it down in the comments and let me know what the item was and why you think it's a bolo. This is a Star Trek micro machine set, new in the box. I'm hoping to get at least, at least 50. I may be able to get more. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. And then butterfly taxidermy. I, I don't know. I always pick it up. I always sell it. It always sells. So I'm going to grab this little piece. That mirror was kind of cool, but there's just something, a little bit of a fear I have about shipping mirrors. I hate shipping glass, but mirrors is super scary. This is a little Paw Patrol truck. I probably should have picked it up, but it was so dirty and I did not want to clean it. So I left it behind. You can see the dirt on it. I probably should have got it because I always buy Paw Patrol stuff and then I lot it up and sell it in lots. I love looking at toys. It's my favorite section of the thrift store. My favorite thing to sell kind of right now, I think. I love toys. Um, and I usually do pretty good at this thrift store with toys. I have no idea what that was. Some sign, to um, type of game or something. So... Um, this is a Little Mermaid game. It's Milton Bradley. It's vintage. I did not open it up and check it. I think the price on it was three bucks, so it was $1.50. So I was like, you know what? For $1.50, I'm, I can part it out and make my money back if it's not complete. So I grabbed that. And I will tell you, when you're thrifting with a glove and a mask and recording with your phone... You, you don't check things very well. You just throw them in your cart. <laughs> so I may have come home with a few things that I shouldn't have, but everything was priced low enough that I will be fine. So this is a sand kit. I think it was new. Um, I think that's a puzzle, but it was um, open, and I'm not counting pieces, and I'm not putting puzzles together. No way. This same thing probably could have been really good oh wait no these were the w bigger puzzles I was thinking maybe it was one of those uh tons of pieces puzzles like I shared in my puzzle bolo video but I don't think it was this said new but I took it out and I looked at it and it was not new so I don't know why it said new all right let's see I find some good stuff for sure um I picked this up because I think it was a dollar, so I got it for 50 cents. And at the end of the video, to keep my Thrift With Me videos educational and to help you guys learn, I have looked up solds for the items that I picked up. So towards the end of the video, you will see um, what the items I purchased sold for. I, I don't do them all, but I do a lot of them. Let's see, what else? Um, there were a lot of items that I picked up, I put in my cart, and then I ended up putting back after I looked up some comps. 
like I picked that up, but it, I think it was $3 and 50 cents and half off was like, I don't know, a dollar, two bucks, something like that. And I looked it up and comps weren't high enough to justify that price. If it would have been 50 cents or a dollar, I would have grabbed it. So definitely checking out the toys and they were supposed to be open until two and they ended up shutting down early, which was a complete bummer. Um, but that's okay. I, I got there when they opened and I found some good deals and I'm super excited. I did pick this up because it was Sesame Street and numbers. Um, I haven't looked up comps on that one yet, but um, I'm hoping it'll be just a good bread and butter item. I probably should have picked that up. Just bread and butter item, but I didn't. Um, I did grab this. I don't know what it is, but I think it was a dollar, so it was 50 cents. So... I'll look that up uh, at a later time. But I will tell you, it was so nice to get out and actually um, do some shopping. And really, there were not a lot of people in there. This is another item I put in my cart and I took back out because it was just kind of shaped weird and the comps weren't that great. Um, it would have been a good bread and butter item, but I decided to pass. My Little Ponies, I wish I knew more because I'm sure that... Um, some of them are worth money that I don't know about. I did pick up this little fella. Um, I did. I, I do show you comps on that one. And I think it was a dollar or a dollar fifty. So I got it for like 75 cents. I almost grabbed this guy just because it's the prince. But I don't know which prince it was. So I didn't look it up. But I probably should have grabbed him. This was some Thomas the Train thing. I did not get it. Big and bulky to ship. My clocks are going off. It's like uh, one of the things you always hear in my videos. Our clocks. All right, let's see. I looked at all the Barbies. I didn't see anything vintage. I put these in my cart. I put them back. Comps. Um, I don't think I could find a comp. I think there were a couple listed that were not selling. So I decided to pass on those. Put them back. I load my cart and then I put it back if I don't want it, because if you leave it sitting on the shelf, someone else will grab it. You don't want to do that. I was checking the Barbies. I love finding vintage Barbies, but these were uh, probably, uh, they weren't vintage, not super vintage. They may have been 90s, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe 2000, mm, I don't know, but not what I was looking for. All right, let's see. What is that little chair? I totally picked a puzzle off of it and didn't even look at the chair. I wonder if it was like American Girl or Batat or something like that. I put that in my cart. I ended up taking it out because comps weren't very good. It probably would have been in good bread and butter, but I have tons of inventory. Now this, wait until you see what these sell for. Definitely a bolo. Definitely gra glad I grabbed it. For some reason, I think it was Profit Monsters that had some stencils that were a bolo when I did his featured seller video. And I was like, you know what? They're a buck, so I'm getting them for 50 cents. I'm grabbing it. Now, that is a Hooked on Phonics. I cannot find the exact same one, but at the end of the video, I will show you some comparables. They had lots of cute little craft things, but most of them were open. So I did not get them. Now this, oh yeah. Wait until you see the comps on that. Unfortunately, mine is not new in the box, but I do think it could be complete. So um, I have to do a little more research on that. I did pick this up. It's a vintage scrapbooking thing, but um, it looked pretty used. So I left that behind. And then you guys let me know what you think about the Thrift With Me videos. Um, I, I'm working on my camera work trying to make it so you don't get dizzy. This little guy I did pick up and I will show you comparables at the end. But it's a Ralph Lauren Polo Plush Bear. Definitely um, decent for sure. And I did not go through the plush very well because I only had one hand to work with. Um, and
and I do like selling plush, but um, I just, it's not something I get super, super excited about unless I find something really exciting. But um, I like more of the vintage new old stock stuff. I think that's so fun. This doll was strange. Has anyone seen her? I'm wondering if maybe she was a bolo and I passed her up because she has those little Velcro things to her. She was kind of cool. And that chair is in front of my face and I never looked at it, never touched it other than to pull the puzzle off of it. A little draft, that probably would have been a good bread and butter, but I did not get it. I probably should do more plush because there is definitely tons of money to be made on plush. Um, Zombie the Bargain Hunter, I just had him on my Bolo live show and we were sharing some of his plush and man, he sells so much plush. This guy was pretty cool. I probably should have picked it up also. Um, I, I ended up putting it back. I didn't look up comps. I should have, I don't know why I put it back. Do you guys ever do that? You're like, why did I put that back? I mean, it, I don't think it was very much money and it probably would have, um, been a great bread and butter item. I don't know if the markers would have worked. It just depends on the age of it. Uh, that little thing that black box I had in my hand, I did pick that up. It was a dollar. So I got it for 50 cents. It'll be a bread and butter item. I don't know what this was. I probably should have looked at that a little better. It looks vintage. Okay, so my cart is so full that things are sitting on the floor. I was looking through here because sunglass cases can be, um, they can sell well. Like if you find, um, like I have a, a Burberry one. I can't remember where I got that. Um, not Burberry, it's Oakley, I think. I don't know. But people have sunglasses and they want the case. So they do sell. All right. I'm looking for flocked material. If you guys don't know what flocked material is, look it up in Crazy Solds. I maybe should have got this guy. I looked it up. Um, I could not find the red, white, and blue bear, but I did look up comps on that brand. Nothing super high. But 4th of July is coming up, so I probably should have bought that, but I didn't. I, I thought I was going to, but I put it back. <laughs> I should have went with my gut on that one. Even if I sold it for, you know, 15 bucks, I still would have made money. But I have tons and tons of inventory, so maybe being selective is a smart choice. All right, let's see. These are paint by number, but um, I the comps were not great on these. Some paint by number is a huge bolo. So if you ever see it, definitely um, look up comps. Uh, plus the paint was like up in the box. So there was two of them. I don't know, again, like, should I have grabbed them? I put them back. <laughs> My cart was so full, I had to put something back. Again, you guys, definitely comment below with anything you see that you would have grabbed that I passed up. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And also, like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys some comparables. I don't know what that was. I probably should have taken a closer look at that also. Might have been like cross-stitching uh, material. So that bag of jewelry, I think they take like beaded stuff or broken items and they put them in bags like that this is super cool and I forgot to record this when I was there because it was already in my cart um it's a coke a little coke thing on a wood plaque and then these spoons are interesting I grabbed those right before I was leaving I don't know if they're a bolo or not but this is what the bag said and I uh paid five dollars for it now this next item I need you guys' help I need your help. I, it's a tablecloth. It's beautiful. I, I mean, they, whoever had it before must have ironed it or never used it because it is, it's amazing. But what is it called where you can kind of see through in certain areas? And do you think this is handmade? Keywords. I'm looking for keywords for this. Um, I'll show you what I mean here. See how you can see my hand through it? 
So uh, it also comes with the uh, napkins and it says the measurements, which is fantastic. And it says some, a few small spots. I didn't look at it yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but this most definitely could be a bolo. It was $15, so I got it for $7.50. Now this little guy I paid up for. Um, I ended up paying $20 for it, but it's a big duffel bag, like a travel bag, that, like if you're going to the airport. It's really big. And I need some help with these also. They say Germany on the bottom, and they're miniature, and they're very, very, very cute. Um, I can't remember what I paid for them. I did pay up for them a little bit, but I think that they're going to do really well. Look how cute this is. Oh, boop. So cute. It says oil. I don't know. They're just adorable. But I cannot find comps. And I have looked. So um, maybe I need better keywords. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool little piece. Pieces. I paid less than 10. Maybe it was 18 half off. So maybe I got them for like nine bucks. All right, I'm back in the store. I don't know why I did that. That's weird. Um, those items that I just showed you were in my garage. I forgot to, to show you guys. I thought I put that after this clip. Now these right here are vintage lights. I probably should have bought these. There were three sets. They're, um, they light up. I probably should have bought them. I'm kind of kicking myself. You plug them in. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should I have bought the 4th of July lights? Let me know in the comments. All right, where are we going next? We are going over to the kids' items, the baby items. All right. I did pick this up. It's a little fox. Um, I think it goes like in a car seat or something. I'm not 100% sure, but I looked up comps while I was there, and they were decent. So I did pick that up, and I'll show you what um, one sold for at the end of the video. I left this one behind because it was not complete. Uh, I probably would have gotten it if it was complete. And let's see. I did pick up these little, um, I did, I bought the poncho. I think I can sell that for sure. Uh, the little face mask, it looked like a kid's vintage face mask. I probably should have got it for swimming, but um, I left it behind. I don't know. Maybe I should have got this too. I know that they're like called lovies, and it was poo, and it was only a dollar. I probably should have got it, but I didn't. You guys are going to hear me. I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> I've said that like how many times? that right there. I probably should have, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't look it up. I just put it back. Let's see. The weights. That's another one. I probably should have, but I didn't. I don't know. I know that that stuff is doing really well right now, like weights and barbells and stuff like that, but um, I don't know. My cart was so full. Headlight. I think that goes on your head. <laughs> like literally, it's a headlight. Oh, I don't know what this bat was. It might have been a bolo. I probably should have looked better. And I almost bought this, but I didn't. It's like a canoe something. And it was vintage. It's probably a huge bolo. It's so funny. Not really funny if I passed on a bolo, but you know what I'm saying. You know, you're like at the store and you're like, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? Should I do it? This section's um, some of the men's stuff, like stuff you'd find in the garage. All right, so I'm back at the front where they put kind of the fancy stuff. And uh, these dolls, I, it's so funny. They were there the last time I was there before lockdown. And... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I thought it was going to like go back and forth, but it didn't. 
All right, this is kind of cute. Maybe I should have looked at this a little better. It's a nice basket with all of the stuff, all the fixins inside. Now, I'm coming up on an item that I almost bought. Okay, these are the little things that I was asking you guys about that I ended up buying. This is when I find them, I'm kind of checking them out. And there's this pot, this yellow bean pot, I think is what Leah's Bits and Pieces told me it was. And it says, made in Italy. I don't know, maybe I should have bought it. It was $20, half off, it would have been 10. Oh boy, we got some brown drip. <laughs> if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know about my uh, garage sale haul where I bought tons of that. And it's selling, actually I shipped off a piece this weekend. But uh, yeah, not really a bolo. <laughs> I learned the hard way on that one. All right. I like to look at the silverware. I didn't do a really good deep, deep dig this time, but um, those were kind of cool. Maybe I should have got those. They have like a wood handle. They said stainless on them. They were pretty cool. I probably should have dug for the set, but I didn't. I'm going to call this video. I should have, but I didn't. That might be a good title. But I got tons of good stuff. It was definitely a good thrift trip. Let's see, I don't think I got anything else in here. Just showing you guys what I'm looking at. Maybe you'll see something that I missed. I don't know if I want you to tell me. No, I do, I want you to tell me. It's how I learn, you know? It's how we all learn help each other learn. This is a longer video. So, all right, I'm in the hat bin. And I did end up pulling one hat out and grabbing it. I'm sure there's a lot of bread and butter hats here, but you know, I'm looking for the made in the USA, vintage, snapback, mesh, uh, patches, uh, you know, the good stuff. And again, if I would have had both hands, I probably could have dug a little better. But um, yeah, I didn't. It's a little visor. And then I found these underwear, <laughs> these little kids underwear, just hanging out with the hats. Yep, hanging out with the hats, the underwear. All right. You guys seeing anything? It's kind of close, sorry about that. Let's see. All right, so I'm looking down the side because I can't really dig that deep and I see this hat and I'm like trying to like see what's on the front and I'm like, darn it, I cannot see what's on the front. I'm trying... <laughs> it's not working out for me here. All right, so I'm gonna go through the top and try and get to it. All this digging, I better buy it after I dug that much, right? I think the hats are all a dollar. Okay, so it says Mac, we're your connection. And it's made in the USA, so I think I got it for 50 cents, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Did not have much luck finding comps, which you will see at the end of the video. I should have just picked the whole crate up and dumped it out. Do you think they would have gotten mad? <laughs> yeah, hat's a buck each. So I paid 50 cents today because it was half off day. So exciting. I had gotten um, a message saying that it was 30% off, but because it was Memorial Day, it's half off. All right, so this is a Vanity Fair, and it's a three-piece set, and I believe it was marked 250 on each piece, and I asked her when I was checking out, I'm like, is it 250 for the whole set? And she said that, um, yeah, it, that was a mistake. So I believe I got the whole set for $2 and, well, half of $2 and 50 cents. I'm not sure. I didn't look at my receipt. Um, they were ringing me up while I was still shopping because they were closing. Um, Barbazol, I think is how you say it, or Barbazan, Barbazon. Here, hold on. It's, I think it's Barbazon. I don't know, I show you at the end of the video. But um, I did pick these up. They are vintage. It's a good brand. They look new. I mean, they're in 
excellent condition. I don't think they've ever been washed. Um, so they were half off, and I think they were each $2.50. I'm not sure if they were sets or not, so I don't know how she charged me. I'm not super concerned. Either way, I think I'll do okay. But I did, I think I grabbed three or four of those. There's another one. But um, yeah, some vintage nightgowns can do fantastic. Now here's a bunch of brass. This one actually says solid brass. Um, and I know HodgePodge, Eddie Hodges from, um, I do tons of featured seller videos on him because he is a major bolo finder, but he collects those brass candlesticks and then he lots them up and he does really well. But I didn't feel like hanging on to a bunch of brass candlesticks until I had a whole bunch. I'd rather do that with toys. That's more my thing. All right, let's see. I, I don't know, there's that big cat. There's one cat that is a bolo, but that wasn't it. I can't remember what it's called, but I would recognize it if I saw it. Now, this little bag is full of weighed figures. And there's a little mermaid in there, and I've never seen the mermaid. So um, hang tight, and at the end of the video, I'll show you what it comps out for. And then I also got a big bag, not a big bag, but like a one gallon bag of magnets. There it is. And I went ahead and bought these. I think they were $5. Yep, so I got them for $2.50. I have no idea what's in there. I didn't even look. I'm like, that many magnets for $2.50, I've got to be able to make my money back. I really like this section, but the toy section is by far my favorite. I ended up grabbing this just because I thought it was adorable. It says uh, college fund and it's a little piggy bank. I believe it's vintage. I was shaking it because I could hear something and it has the little um, stopper inside of it. So I just have to figure out how to get that out. But it's just a little piggy bank. It'll be a bread and butter item, but super cute. All right. I can't remember if I showed you guys. There's this one piece that I got, and I may not have showed it, um, but I sent it to Leah's Bits and Pieces. Um, she's somebody that has become a really good friend. I met her through, um, she was one of my featured sellers last year when I, well, I think it was, you know, I had, it was pretty new to the channel. And she uh, volunteered to be featured, and she sold this amazing Halloween item. And we have become really good friends. So she helps me out when I go thrifting. Okay, so this is the um, Ariel uh, game. It did not comp out like I had hoped. This perfume, I didn't show you guys me picking this up, but I got that, so I think that'll do good. The Max Mac Snapback. I could not find one like it. A lot of them kept pulling up as M-A-C-K, and it's M-A-C. There's the little piggy bank, you know, bread and butter, like I said. I might try it on Mercari. Um, I didn't show you this in the video, but these are Sophia the First panels that I got. And then the socks, I don't think I showed you guys that. I got two pair of these. Now this is that um, playground thing um, that I showed you. $149.99 is what this sold for. Now, this one is brand new. Mine is not. So we shall see. This is the Vera Bradley bag. I think I'll do okay. Um, again, I paid $20 for it. So I, I'm hoping to get $75 or $100 out of it. It's like brand new. And it's really nice. So we shall see. All right. This is a jock strap. I didn't show you guys this one either. But this is the one I got. And I think I paid 50 cents for it. So, and then Dora Designs. I've never heard of this, but I got a cute little, I think it's a puppy dog. So it's pretty cool. And there were some other things that I bought that I didn't get footage of, unfortunately. So here's some solds. I don't know. They're kind of all over the place. I got to do a little more research on that. So here's the Little Mermaid um, from the Wade Little Ceramic Glass. And, you know, she's selling for $10 plus shipping. 
So I paid $3 for that whole bag of weighed items. So $3, half off $1.50. And then this is the little seahorse. So maybe I'll lot them together. This is a crystal. It's a little lion. This is an active listing for $14.99. I could not find any solds. These were the only solds and they were not the same. And this I opened and it is definitely used. So I have to research that one a little more. Paper dolls can do really well sometimes. So I, it was like a buck or two. So I just grabbed it and we'll see. This is that uh, Hooked on Phonics, I think, Learn to Read. Again, not identical to the one I got. I, oh, here's my micro machine. Okay, so the price is slashed out on this. It says $63.99. So I'm going to go over to Flipper Tools, and I'm going to see what it sold for. So you go into the listing, and you have to copy and paste the I messed up I hit list instead of um, I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> okay there we go so I'm in the listing and I'm gonna go over and I'm going to copy the item number and then I'm gonna add that over at flipper tools and I don't know why but for some reason it either didn't work right or um, it sold for the full asking price and there was an error on eBay. I'm not sure. But flippertools.com, you put the item number here and it should pull up the best offer what it sold for. But again, it says $63.99. So, and that's the number it was slashed through. So I'm not sure if it's uh, not functioning again or not, but Etsy is working. Here's the... Um, Oh yeah, I was trying to get back to where I was because I went out of flipper tools. I was like, why am I showing that again? So again, I, I think that'll do pretty good. I was hoping this one was going to be better because it's new and sealed and it's a really cool puzzle. But comps are not great. Um, they're definitely better on the new ones than the pre-owned. Here's that little character I was showing you guys. I think it's My Little Pony. Is that right? So... 15 bucks, uh, free shipping. Some of them are charging shipping. Here's that little Shopkins car, 10 bucks plus shipping. So I'm glad I picked those up. Now here is the stencils, you guys. Now what a surprise this was. They're selling for like 35 bucks for that little thing, little box of stencils. Pretty amazing. Definitely a bolo. Definitely be on the lookout for those. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's the stencils I was going to zoom in. I don't think this is the one I got, but they're all pretty similar. I think the cover of mine was different, and I need to make sure they're all there. Here's the Ralph Lauren Bear. Okay, so I'm going to check this one with flipper tools, and it works. Unfortunately, it did not sell for as much as I had hoped, um, which you guys will see here. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go over to Flipper Tools and I'm going to paste it into that spot and it is going to pull up what it sold for. So I gotta get rid of the micro machines and voila, voila, <laughs> 25 bucks, that's all they got for it. But that's still, you know, it's good. It's all good. All right, let's see. Here is that, is it Barbizon? I think it's Barbizon is how you say it. I could be totally wrong, but it's vintage lingerie. And you can see comps are pretty good. They range from bread and butter up to big money bolos. Here's that uh, Vanity Fair. It wasn't as good as I'd hoped. Now here's the, the tablecloth that I found that was very similar. Well, not, I take that back, not very similar. I thought that it had like the, you know, where you can see through it. But anyway. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.